Is space truly empty? What if I told you that even in the deepest voids of the cosmos, where not a single atom exists, there's still something? In today's journey, we're diving into the unseen, the untouched, the very fabric of the universe itself. Together, we'll unravel the secrets of quantum fields, uncover the mysteries of dark matter and dark energy, and delve into the enigmatic realm of string theory. Contrary to popular belief, space is not an absolute void. It's actually brimming with activity on scales both large and small. Let's delve into this seemingly paradoxical statement. Let's start big, really big. We know that space is filled with celestial objects like planets, stars, galaxies, and nebulas. It's also filled with clouds of dust and gas that form these celestial bodies. Then we have cosmic rays, high energy particles zooming around at nearly the speed of light, most of which are protons, but also include other particles like electrons and atomic nuclei. Let's go even smaller now. Enter the world of quantum physics. Quantum mechanics, the strange and counterintuitive rules that govern the tiniest particles in the universe, predict the existence of what we call quantum fluctuations. This is where it gets really weird. Even if we manage to remove all the particles, all the radiation, all the celestial bodies from a region of space, we'd be left with what we call a vacuum. But in quantum mechanics, a vacuum isn't empty and is as strange as it can get. Quantum fluctuations allow particles and antiparticles to blink into existence and annihilate each other too quickly to be observed directly. Think of it like a cosmic dance, particles and antiparticles constantly appearing and disappearing. These are known as virtual particles, a particle-antiparticle pair that borrow energy from the universe for their brief existence. This might sound like a bunch of theoretical mumbo-jumbo, but it has real-world implications. For instance, these quantum fluctuations can give rise to what physicists call the Casimir effect a small attractive force that acts between two close parallel uncharged conducting plates. It's caused by quantum vacuum fluctuations of the electromagnetic field. These quantum vacuum fluctuations may have played a key role in the formation of our universe itself. In the theory of cosmic inflation, which explains the Big Bang, quantum fluctuations in the early universe could have been stretched out by inflation to become the seeds of galaxies. Now you may be wondering, but what are these particles exactly? What are they made of? And is there empty space between them? Well, it's essential to understand that these aren't particles as we typically understand them. When we think of particles, we might imagine tiny spheres like miniature planets with some defined boundary and stuff inside. However, quantum particles aren't like that at all. In quantum mechanics, particles are described as wave functions. These wave functions are mathematical functions that provide information about the particle, like its position and momentum. Interestingly, these wave functions are spread out. They don't have a defined boundary, and they don't have an inside or outside. Instead, they tell us the probabilities of finding the particle in different locations. This means that when we talk about virtual particles popping in and out of existence in empty space, we're not talking about tiny spheres appearing and disappearing. We're talking about changes in the quantum field, the underlying entity that exists everywhere in space. This quantum field isn't empty, but it's also not filled with stuff in the way you might think of air filling a room. Instead, it's a mathematical structure that has different values at every point in space. These values tell us the likelihood of finding a particle at that location. Furthermore, when these virtual particles pop in and out of existence, they don't create or leave behind empty spaces. Instead, the values of the quantum field change. It's more like ripples spreading out on a pond. The water isn't empty between the ripples. Instead, the ripples are changes in the water's surface. So, in essence, when we talk about the emptiness of space, we're really talking about a vibrant, ever-changing quantum field. Okay, so space isn't empty. It's filled with this quantum field. But what makes this quantum field? 
is there something even more fundamental? One theory that attempts to answer these questions is string theory. It proposes that the most fundamental constituents of reality are not particles like electrons or quarks, but are actually tiny, one-dimensional strings. According to string theory, each type of particle corresponds to a different vibrational mode of a string. You can think of this like different musical notes being produced by the different modes of vibration of a guitar string. Just as different musical notes can be produced by a single guitar string, all the different particles we observe could be manifestations of one fundamental entity, a string. Interestingly, string theory also predicts the existence of more than the three spatial dimensions we experience. It proposes that space-time actually has ten dimensions, but we don't experience them all because the extra dimensions are compactified or curled up on a very small scale. So, in a sense, string theory suggests that there may be even smaller scales than what we currently probe with our particle accelerators. These tiny curled-up dimensions could be a whole new frontier for us to explore. But remember, while string theory is an exciting proposal, it's currently just that, a proposal. It's a mathematical framework that fits with our current understanding of quantum mechanics and gravity, but it's yet to be confirmed by experimental evidence. Still, the fact that we have a theory that might unify all of the particles and forces, including gravity, and provide an even deeper understanding of what space itself is made of, is incredibly exciting. And that's the beauty and mystery of our universe. Even in the seeming nothingness, there's a whole lot going on. And we haven't even touched on the concepts of dark matter and dark energy yet. Mysterious substances that we know very little about but which together make up about 95% of the universe. Dark matter is a type of matter that we can't directly detect with our current instruments, but we know it exists because of the gravitational effects it has on visible matter, like galaxies and stars. Some physicists hypothesize that dark matter might be made of particles that we haven't yet discovered, particles that don't interact with light or ordinary matter, and hence are dark. These hypothetical particles could potentially be a part of the quantum field we've been discussing. So, in this sense, there could be a link between the quantum field and dark matter. If dark matter particles exist, they would also be subject to quantum mechanics and would have their own associated quantum fields. Dark energy, on the other side, is even more mysterious. It's a form of energy that's causing the universe's expansion to accelerate. One of the leading ideas is that dark energy is related to the cosmological constant, a term in Einstein's equations of general relativity. If this is true, dark energy could be associated with the energy of the vacuum itself. Remember the fluctuations that we talked about? According to quantum field theory, these fluctuations should give the vacuum a certain energy. But here's the problem. When physicists try to calculate the energy of the vacuum using quantum field theory, they get a number that's way too large. It's one of the biggest unsolved problems in theoretical physics, known as the cosmological constant problem. Many physicists believe that the resolution of this problem will require a deeper understanding of quantum gravity, which might come from theories like string theory or from entirely new ideas. So, in a sense, the mysteries of dark matter and dark energy are deeply entwined with our understanding of the quantum field and the nature of the vacuum. Unraveling these mysteries could lead to a whole new understanding of the fundamental nature of the universe. So, the next time someone tells you that space is empty, you can tell them about the cosmic ballet of virtual particles, the omnipresent cosmic rays, and the unexplored mysteries of dark matter and dark energy. Thank you for joining us on this cosmic journey today. If you enjoyed this journey through the cosmos, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more space exploration content. Until next time.